I'm Mikael Enlund and I'm head of the mechanical engineering program at Chalmers. And my co-authors are Stig Larsson, who's a professor of mathematics, and Johan Malmqvist, professor of product development and dean of education at Chalmers. And I'm going to present how we integrated a computational oriented mathematics education into the mechanical engineering program at Chalmers. And <clears throat> well, first some basic facts about the program. It's a five years, two cycle program, combined bachelor and master's degree program. And we are the largest, largest engineering program at Chalmers. We are about 500 students on bachelor level and another 550 students on master's level, including 150 international students. We are in nature and founder of the CDEO initiative together with MIT and two Swedish universities, Royal Institute and Inköping. And the program focuses on engineering as a profession, integration of general skills such as communication, teamwork, as well as sustainability and programming. And the base of the program is fundamentals of mathematics and mechanical engineering with emphasis on common principles. And we have a long history of curriculum and pedagogical and learning environment innovations, which we are rather proud of. Well, to the computational mathematics project. For about 10 years ago, we um, identified a need for reformed math mathematical education. And of course, we have a very rapid development of computers, hardware, software, as well as the internet, which have given new opportunities for engineering work and also for teaching and learning of engineering at schools. And solving most problems today faced in modern engineering includes high precision digital models, simulation, calculations, and this will grow, I'm quite sure. And <coughs> also, Advanced computer, computerized mathematics is becoming increasingly more popular in engineering practices. All engineers do simulations to some extent. But <coughs> this is not the kind of mathematics that we teach at the engineering schools. We teach the old tradition, working with pen and paper, solving the same problems all over again, learning a lot of tricks that the computer can do much better. So, and also we do not take advantages of the developments, software, as well as hardware for teaching and learning. We don't use this. At high school and primary school in Sweden, you are allowed to use uh, pocket calculator, graphical calculators. But when you arrive at the university level, you are supposed to use paper and pen. And this is, from my point of view, incredible stupid, actually. And also, we need to prepare the students for a modern approach based on modeling, simulation, and analysis. This is also key components in the globalization of engineering. Digital models can be transferred all over the world in just some seconds. And also key components for lean and sustainable product development. So we really need to take this into advantage. And also, from a mechanical engineering point of view, we have the finite element method which is used in almost all design, engineering design work and is also integrated into all CAD packages today. And this was usually taught in advanced courses, year four and five. So, and we don't understand why that's so. So, <coughs> what about mathematics in the CDIO program? Should it just be there, outside the, the standards? We believe that it belongs to all standards, almost. And I will highlight some aspects here, which is important for a CDU, CDIO program. We emphasize full view of problem solving, meaning formulate a problem, formulate equations, solve equations, simulate and evaluate the choice of model as well as the numerical solution. That's the full view, and which of course fits into the CDIO initiative. And also modeling decision making and design. By using those tools we can do the modeling on a higher level and also decision making on a higher level. We can study more advanced and complex and realistic problems so we can do decision making 
for the products on, in the computer, but also we can uh, train decision making when it comes to, to evaluate choice of model, the numerical algorithm behind the solution. And of course, active learning techniques. We need to take benefit of that the student learn in a different manner nowadays. And this is also mathematical tools involved here and we can use this in mathematical education, of course. And most CDIO programs, in mechanical engineering at least, they have physical prototyping labs where we build things, we build our prototypes. Equally important is to have a virtual prototyping lab. And this calls for another kind of mathematics, of course. And the CDIO framework is very beneficial for integrated programs. To integrate sustainability, communication and so on, we have used this framework with the program description, the design matrix and so on. And we use the same technique when we integrate mathematics. Another thing that we had seen, poor results and decreasing interest in math courses from mechanical engineers and also this, today we noticed that young persons learn much differently than they used to do a few decades ago. Pedagogical researchers call it the Nintendo syndrome. Students and young people do not read manuals, they go and try. If killed, try something else until you get to the next level. Well, if that doesn't work, perhaps you ask a friend, or you Skype a friend, or you get to the internet to get a hint. And this also comes through in studying. It becomes increasingly harder to make students to read books. But at the same time, providing them with ways to try before reading proves educational rewarding. And we can also see that back home when study kids. They learn to use computer games and use the computer for communication with friends all over the world extremely fast. And they don't read manuals. They just try trial and error all the time. And also students have laptops, e-book readers, surf pads, smartphones. Mechanical engineering students at Chalmers, are, we estimate that at least 90% of them have uh, smartphones. And they are very capable for doing simulations. We can, and they always bring them with them. So we can do beam simulations, fluid dynamic simulations, math calculations. So of course we need to take benefit of this. And something about our reformed education, it was launched 2006, 2007 and continuously improved. We developed new courses, including a basic course in MATLAB programming. We integrate the mathematics in other fundamental engineering courses, mechanics, strength of materials, automatic control. It was just in time teaching and learning of math. <coughs> and we tried to transfer focus from solving oversimplified special problems with known solutions, known analytical solutions, to more open general problems requiring numerical solutions. And another key component is the computer-oriented exercise assignments and team projects that are used simultaneously in math courses and in courses of mechanics. So we use the same kind of projects in, in parallel courses. <coughs> And <coughs> our cornerstones are to highlight and clarify modeling, computations, and simulations. Uh, we do a full integration of computational traditional aspects. <laughs> Sorry, full integration of computational aspects with symbolic traditional aspects of mathematics. We have no separate courses in numerical analysis. They are integrated. And very important is for the students to construct own algorithms and writing own programs. This trains programming skills and understanding of mathematics. So we don't use built-in functions, we also construct a lot of own programs, which we think is very important. Well, as I already mentioned, we study general equations instead of simplified special equations. And also, Emphasis on the full view of the problem, problem solving. Set up, model, formulate equations, solve equations, visualize solutions, simulate, assess the correctness 
of the choice of model and the solution as well. <coughs> and we have chosen MATLAB as our general tool for doing this throughout the entire education. And another cornerstone for mechanical engineers is the finite element method, which is talked and used already in the first year courses, which is kind of unique, I think. Computer exercise for students solve problems by developing own codes, but they also use more industrial softwares for finite element calculations and computational fluid dynamics calculations and really body dynamics calculations and so on. Assess assignments, exercises and applications from courses in mechanics, strength of materials and so on, in math courses. Teaching and learning of mathematics in applied courses, as well as teaching of mechanics and physics in math courses. And we started off with formulating program goals when it comes to mathematics. This is useful mathematics kind of mathematics that mechanical engineering students use and so on. And we use the CDIO method to, 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 to design our curriculum. We have a program design matrix with the goals mapped to the courses. And here is the first year, four quarters. You can see that we have dots for MATLAB programming and, s and simulation using softwares throughout the year. And also the same thing in the second year. We have throughout the year we use simulations and industrial softwares. And if you're interested in the specific courses, you can read a paper. We describe the courses in the paper. <coughs> Third year and fourth year four and five at Chalmers our master's program. And to different extent we have programming and uh, simulation in those, of course. So to summarize the developments, we started off, we set goal, formed team, we had meetings with teachers, review of math needed, joint computer assignment, developed lecture notes, developed courses, concretized the concept, multiple joint assignments, new course in CAD with final exam in computer lab, new courses in MathStat, and so on, with virtual learning environments, and we will continue to do this in the coming years. And this is an example of a joint assignment. I think I skipped that one, skip also that one. And we have also developed, together with University of Strathclyde, a virtual learning environment for math. And it looks like this. I think I skipped that also. So I will spend two minutes on evaluation and results. All courses are evaluated using the standard Chalmers system. We have a questionnaire, final meetings, and we have students acting in this. And we have class follow-ups, program evaluation, interviews with students, lectures, and employers as our background material. And students consider computer a valuable tool for calculation as well as learning of math. The motivation to study, number of past students, general impression of courses have increased. They train math a lot more than before. The interest for calculation and simulations has increased. Programming skills have increased significantly, which is very good. And the ability to perform traditional analysis, derive and solve special differential equations, has not decreased, which is a worry from those teachers. And we can study more advanced and relevant problems in our product development projects and the products will be better as well as the analysis. And reviewers in particular conclude that it is especially encouraged to see CAD and MATLAB integrated as educational tools and the interest to embrace computational mathematics into mechanical engineering courses. And the main goal, that each student should gain knowledge, skills, and ability to effectively use computational mathematics modeling and simulation in application has been reached to a large extent. Employers claim that the mechanical engineering students have become significantly better prepared for managing and solving of open-ended problems, carrying out numerical simulations, programming, and using modern industrial softwares. 
Teachers of advanced level courses verify this picture. They say that mechanical engineering students in average are much better prepared for their advanced level courses in mechanics and solid mechanics and so on and can handle computations and projects more effic efficiently at a higher level compared to engineering students from other engineering programs. So, I think you can read the concluding remarks yourself and I'm available for questions for three minutes. <laughs> Somewhat, the pancakes, you know. <laughs> <laughs>